Well, Tunde, this is not the interview I was expecting. <laughs> well, I don't think none of us were expecting it. It's not something we put in our minds. You know, we're winners. We've always had that positive mindset. And um, tonight we just came up a little bit short. But we're this, it is what it is. We're still the same people. Uh, I, I wouldn't say go back to the drawing board because I don't feel Antia done himself you know, any he, he only done himself proud. He mixed it in there, proved that he's world class, and uh, almost had Sergei out. Um, and that's it. We we move forward. Yeah, that eighth round. I, I I think if that had gone on, you know, ten twenty seconds later, we were screaming like literally. Everybody was like, "Come on, like he's done, he's done, like, finish him, finish him, don't step back." You know. Um, but I was saying to the guys, you know, you know, from that eighth round. It was heart, you know, and, uh, you know, it, it was Anthony's heart that kept him going through. You know, the ninth round, I said, look, you, got, you just got there and emptied the tank because we, we're not, we're not going to get this opportunity again. And he, he done that. You know, it wasn't a thing where you start thinking of a game plan midway through the fight. You revise for the exam, you take the exam, and then it is what it is. And uh, we know what motivates Ant. So when we're, when, when we're in there shouting, come on, lion, 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 that is the motivation. That's the thing what we use to bring him up. And we, and we tried that. Um, unfortunately, it wasn't enough tonight. Uh, but as Buddy McGurk said, as Sergey said, he's a champion. And uh, so Buddy said he surprised him. You know, but again, I've always maintained that the teaching that Anthony has... Uh, been getting from the start allows us or did allow us to mix at this level and we're going to come again and I mean it looked to me like Kovalev was running out of gas and then uh, <laughs> he, he looked spent for you know yeah, yeah yeah but that's what happens when you when you are put in a situation so many times you know you become adapted to that that situation and I think where he's been out you know um and he's and he's bounced back, so he ha he had that experience to call on, you know. Whereas we've never been in that situation, and uh, it was a first time for us. It was it was kind of weird for me to see Anthony tired, because I've never seen him tired, literally, you know. And um, I think that um, he's gonna learn a lot from tonight, absolutely. Do you think the tiredness was a was sort of a cumulative effect of all the, the, the jabs from Kovalev or was it or was it simply just putting all that effort in in the eighth? No, I wouldn't even say all the jabs. I mean jabs don't get you tired. <laughs> it wasn't the jabs. This was a big event. It was an occasion. The whole world, the people back home in the UK were watching us and uh we came alone, you know, and, and that's a lot of energy on a on a a young team, a young man. Um and I think that because Every, as everything is energy, I think it just built up and, uh, you know, you hit a point where you've tried your best mm -hmm. and then uh, it is what it is, it boils down to the heart and i say it again, Anthony showed tremendous heart in there tonight and uh, he was like, oh, Unks, man, I had him, I had him, I had him. I said, and, bro, bro, I, like, you know, there was even, I think, Putting around and saying, come and like, it's for our families, let's do it. Like, you know, and uh, he tried, <laughs> he tried. And uh, you, you just, I can't be disappointed. I can't be sad, you know, I, I share Anthony's disappointment because he's like, Unks, man, I'm a winner, man. Like, it's not the same. I was like, you're a warrior. He's like, yeah, but it's, it's warrior has a W in it, but it's not win. I want to win. Mm -hmm. I want the W to be win. I'm like, listen, man, God don't make mistakes. You know, it's all, everything in life is there to test us. And uh, if we had listened to people saying, don't do this, don't that, we wouldn't even be here. So we dare to be great. And um, we just come up just, just a little bit short. And literally, Steve Bunce, John Rule is just like, oh my God, I was screaming in that eighth round. Like, we all thought you had it there. But that's the story. That's the whole drama of the whole thing. And then, 30, 30 fights. You, people got to think about this. 30 fights, amateur and pro. Me and Anthony's been on this journey from the beginning. And uh, if you're going to come up a little bit short, come up at the top of the mountain. Come up short at the top of the mountain. And that's where we are. Let's get that right. 
This isn't Southern area, yeah. British, European, Commonwealth. This is the top of the mountain. And uh, Sergei Kovalev is a Ring Magazine, 2013-2015, number one fighter. You know, uh, dethroned Bernard Hopkins. This guy's been in mega fights. I think he's, they say he's had 16 world title fights. <laughs> you think about that. Mm. And he's had 30 fights, amateur and professional. Been a pro four years. And uh, there's a reason why he's at the top of the mountain. And uh, yeah, the journey continues. No, absolutely. And, and uh, you know, I can tell that, I mean, you know, people like Lennox Lewis have tweeted and, you know, again, oh, wow. said, said Anthony Yard's future world champion. Um, but is, is that you said you'd learn, you learn from your state. Is there anything particularly you can take back and you would change in your training methods? No, absolutely. That's what I'm, this is what I was just saying to the young man. I said, you can't say even like, it wasn't like he was outboxed or anything like that. We, we all know Sergei's got a good jab. The plan for us going in was to pull that jab, pull counter with a right hand over the top. You know, and uh, we worked on that. I think you saw that when we was warming up and, um, you know, and get inside and work the body. The game plan had already been set, but having a game plan and executing the game plan is two different things. And I think that, um, you know, when you've got people like Lennox and all these people, you know, uh, showing, you know, tonight, there's nothing to change. It's just keep doing what you're doing. You know, what can you say? Was it, you know, was Sir Guy beating him up or nothing? It wasn't that. It, it, technically, Sergei said he's got a brilliant event. He was making Sergei miss a lot of the times. He was hitting hit air. Um, so it's just continue doing what you're doing, and over time you just get better at it. You know, you're talking about a young man in the embryonic stage of his career. So there's a long way to go. So no, we wouldn't change. There's nothing really to change. It's just, you know, his day in the sun will come. Okay, and final question, what, 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 what's next for you and Anthony? Shake Shack. <laughs> Nothing's changed. Shake Shack, milkshake burger. Um, I, it's so funny because I'm going to be straight back on it, working. You know, I, I ain't stopping. And I know Anthony, he's just one of these people that he just, he don't have a losing mentality. And I, uh, that's what he's more disappointed about tonight. He's like, Unks, man, like, no, don't tell me, don't tell me that, oh, I done well and everything like that. I don't want to hear that. You know, and uh, it's difficult for me because I'm of the same mindset, but, you know, you've got to look at the positives as we always do and as, as we've always done because there is a positive in everything. And um, sometimes you can't see that especially when it involves you. Uh, but tonight, <laughs> knowing Anthony, if there's an extra mile to run, he'll run it. If uh, there's more combinations to learn, he'll want to learn them because he, he just won't stop and neither will I. And and just oh sorry just finally we, we, no this is me, <laughs> I was just gonna say did, uh, did you think you should have pulled him out before do you think he, he was he was taking a, a a bit too much damage in that last round or do you in the last round yeah well the last round is the round it finished yeah. so the question is is what what was happening in the round before yeah. um, it was eleventh round yeah so in the ninth round he just used his skill level to just dodge punches. <laughs> you know, and he, he, we even said that because he was so tired. The 10th round, from what I can recollect, I'm going to go back and watch the tape, was kind of an even round. And then obviously you have the final round. So yeah. it wasn't a case of, oh, he got, he got beat up in round eight or round nine. And then you say, oh, you're taking too much punishment. And it was just exhaustion. That's what it was. It wasn't, and weren't getting beaten up in that fight. A jab is a jab, you know, but a jab, you ain't going to stop someone in a jab. You're not going to knock someone out with a jab. It's got to take more than that. And uh, I don't know what the finishing shot was, uh, but again, it was just exhaustion. And uh, it's something, and, the, and, and I don't, uh, that exhaustion never came from, um, because he 
doesn't train hard enough. I just think that, you know, the occasion, the experience, the whole build up uh, is levels. And um, it was. Go on. I was going to say, but well, after that eighth round, we heard that Kovalev's trainer was like threatening to threatening to pull him out. I'm telling you, I actually turned. If you watch the tape, I turned because the ref came over to our corner. I think that might have been the ninth or the tenth. I think that was the tenth when the ref came over because Anthony stood up, and I think the ref thought that we we was gonna pull the fight, but Anthony just wanted to stand up, and I looked over to his corner because I sensed it. I didn't hear him, but I sensed that they was gonna stop the fight. Um, but you know, he, he done what he done, had to do, and uh, all credit to Sergey. You know, it, it, everything that was said before is just it's part of the game. You know, you, you sell the fight, but in the ring, it always shows whether you've been doing the right thing or the wrong thing. And tonight, Anthony showed he's been doing the right thing, but Sergey showed he's been doing the right thing for a little bit longer. <laughs> So, so that's all it is. No, that's fair enough, mate. Well, listen, thanks very much for talking to us. And uh, yeah, I'm sure, we're sure you... Are you on the same flight? You're I, the same I, flight back? I, I don't think so. I think we're going a bit later. Oh, wow. Literally, I've got to literally jump in the cab now. Right. OK, mate, I'll leave you to it. Take care. Right, thank you, Chris.